hello and welcome to episode 18 of our Timberborn update for Water Beaver mod playthrough here, cycle 25, day one. We uh, last time did a little bit more work toward the ENS goal. We're already halfway there in terms of blueprints. We did have, well, this guy's making scaffoldings now, but uh, if we pause real quick, take a look inside our library, uh, we can peel this back a little bit. And we do have a fancy architectural blueprint of the ENS. And this one is waiting for the mechanical blueprints being made in this mechanics lodge 77 percent of the way complete and once that's done we'll be able to build it after we research it that is with 2000 science points that we don't currently have but we'll get that taken care of today and we'll hopefully be able to actually build one or at least be part of the way there because uh actually i don't know if you saw this or not the compact library set if you paid attention previous episodes is constructed in this guy screw press and if we uh well actually I'll, I'll just take a look from up here the uh it's it takes 200 200 library books man it takes 200 200 library books and we have uh, 18 so that's gonna take a little bit of time we might have to uh might have to make a couple more of these copyist lodges possibly to try and get that done because we've got a quite a bit of a quite a bit of library books to be making but before we get too far somebody brought up an interesting point with the ens and that is since the recipes take so long like hundreds and hundreds of hours we're probably going to want more than one so what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm actually going to take this copyist lodge and i'm going to have them copy the architectural blueprint for the ens and we're going to fancify those just so we can store those we're just going to do that real quick going to have a city builders rule over here uh, copying for us. We'll be able to hop into the library and grab that out of the scroll rack as soon as, well, as soon as they decide that's necessary. But wanted to make sure we did that right off the bat so we weren't in a bad position uh, coming up later. But yeah, these guys are having a grand old time. Hey, it's MP3Zilla in here uh, making the mechanical blueprint for the ENS. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he's got everything he needs there. But should be okay. We're waiting on the water to come back down at the uh, start of our temperate season here. We do have our primitive dams up here keeping this area green, but that also holds the water back. And uh, since we're already here, let's just take a second to see if there's any other uh, of these little water hidey holes I haven't uh, haven't detonated yet. I think these two I did detonate at the end of last episode, and they uh, weren't filled with water because they weren't, well, they weren't accessible when the water was here. So. Once that's in place, we should have a substantially better uh, retention of fully green crops in this area. Not that these are bad. They're not going to die. They actually last pretty pretty long while they are in the process of drying out. So that's A-OK. -okay. Uh, we're not worried about the brambles because they'll last for, what, three years <laughs> before drying out? And uh, these blueberries, unfortunately, are, uh, are drying out and dying. But we do have... A ton over here and that's okay even though we only have what one or two uh, we are going to be allowing these to continue to grow and we're going to be doing other irrigation and we also down here in bramble dam district do have plenty of space as well but this hasn't filled up yet and that's probably going to take a little while because of all the water we have going here so we're, go we're going to want to make sure we keep an eye on our water usage uh, we do have a lot of beavers we have almost 400 so that is a pretty good reason why a lot of that water is gone not too much we can do about that. What we can do, though, take this dynamite out here. Remember, the reason that I was doing this was to expand our blueberry collection over here. And I was waiting for them to get this cabbage out, but they haven't been harvesting it. As the uh, mod creator kindly pointed out, uh, we don't have enough paws to uh, harvest all of this stuff, even with the assistant farmer upgrade. So what we're going to do, uh, this medium warehouse really does not need to be here. For the price, we probably could put that in a different spot, but for right now, we're going to want to continue working toward getting all of this removed. All of this removed. Because there is so much more planting we could be doing here. And we're going to want to make sure this is properly irrigated and everything. And we might need to put in another one of these Lido's here or possibly an irrigation tower. But that's uh, pretty far off. Just want to make sure this is something we're uh, being aware of so that we don't catch ourselves by surprise at some point because uh, 
when you get dirty beavers, bad things happen. We're going to want to make sure that we're proofing ourselves against that. So I'm going to go ahead, since we're already down here, I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, river bath down below here where this is only one tile deep. Let's go ahead and build this. Now, this won't work when it's two tiles flooded, but when it's like this, this will be perfectly fine because this one's going to be completely out of the water anyway, so that's not going to matter. That was something somebody brought up last time, but hey, we have some water coming back in here, so that's looking good. Uh, I had originally, last episode, put one of the river baths down here, and then I got rid of it because it wasn't going to be uh, wet during a drought. So we possibly could build another one of those here. I don't really know that that's something we need to be worried about. I think it's probably okay in this district. It shouldn't really get that dry if we're smart about how things are uh, are set up here. It's just one of those things. There's, there's so much water here that it's it's going to be impossible to uh, keep track of. Every, there's so much water usage, I should say. It's going to be impossible to keep it in check. And that's just one of those things we're going to have to deal with. So having uh, good enough amounts of water storage, which uh, currently we don't really have it's going to be pretty important so let's actually take a look at one of the possible solutions you guys brought up in the comments and that is these okay that's that's not the same thing there was a mechanical aquifer pump where was that underwater pumps um terminal say so what in the world is this deep water pump um okay small aquifer pump yeah this, this requires some of the stuff we don't have yet uh whatever this uh, blueprint is we probably don't have it um but we could easily research this right now. We just wouldn't be able to build whatever that claw thing is, because I think that's something that has to be constructed. Let's pause this real quick. Something that has to be constructed in one of these factory buildings. Yeah, in the factory. I don't know what that's called, but we don't have methane yet. We probably should be making it, but that's what that CH whatever is in the uh, the little bit of flame, or I can't really tell what the icon's supposed to be. We can make it, so that's good news. We just have to be able to actually produce it, which means we have to make methane. And to make methane, I believe we have to ferment spatterdock in one of these uh, fermentation barrels. And part of the reason we got rid of uh, this stuff right here is so we could put some more of these barrels in place. But I don't want to. I don't want to take up this central space with that. Um, okay, so we're <laughs> we're sixty nine percent of the way done making uh, copies of the architectural blueprints. All right, so we'll we'll send those over to be fancified here in a little bit. But I don't want to have them just continually make copies of this. We need to make sure that they're actually, you know, doing what they're supposed to be doing. All right, 82% here, looking good. We need to find a space to do some, uh, some production of methane and methane-related items. And we have spatter docks somewhere. I know we made a storage somewhere. I thought we did. Yeah, we're... Where in the world did I, where in the world did I put the spatter dock storage? So I've got, uh, I guess I could just do this. Because I know I had put it somewhere. Okay, it's down here. That's spatter dock. So why don't we find ourselves a place to put some of those, uh... Yeah, we need to put some of those fermentation barrels. I just don't know where, I just don't know where to stick them. I mean, maybe if we were smart... If we were smart about this, we could put them on top of some other storage that's right here. Because I, I know we, we need a whole bunch of storage. Industrial piles. This isn't really big enough for that. Uh, warehouses. Not going to fit on top of that. We could put medium ones in, maybe. It wouldn't be such a bad thing to put some here. That almost, almost would fit something else there. Let's see. If we did that, I could line the top with some other stuff. Now, what do we need... What do we actually need storage of here? Because I know there's going to be all sorts of different answers to that question. Cabbage storage. We have kimchi storage. We've got mushroom. We actually really don't have very much mushroom storage. But this isn't the place we'd want to put those anyway. Pickle chip. Pump, pickle chips. Pumpkin chip storage. Pumpkins. Uh, sunflower seeds. Berries. We have storage for all the food we're actually making. But ingredients-wise, bramble flowers. Tons of storage. Chestnuts. Uh, they're not really being harvested over here. Dandelions, got plenty of storage. Rice, spatterdock. Uh, oh, duh, spatterdock storage right here. That that makes the most sense. So that is what I will, uh, that's what I'll put there. And then this, instead of being spatterdock storage, can be literally anything else. 
probably would be more convenient to put in something like perhaps uh, metal fasteners since that's what's being constructed in this general area anyway. We'll just make that into something else. But now what I can do, now what I can do is I can take these, uh, no wait, that wasn't food. There we go, fermentation barrels. I can take these things and I can either do one of these numbers or one of these numbers. And I think I'm gonna do one of these numbers. That doesn't make any sense, thank you. Um, so this is this is going to be for methane production. I don't know how many we're going to actually need, but but chestnut beer is also something we need to get into making. So we could make that happen over here. So these guys will get that underway. We'll see what happens with that. Let's check on our progress. Oh, duh. It's nighttime and they're not doing anything. So let's go triple speed. Get that rolling. And we'll see. It's only 15 working hours to accomplish this, so it shouldn't be shouldn't be too much longer once once they get back to work here. There we go. Yeah, you can see that crawling up slowly. And then we'll switch this guy back over to making library books. But before too long, yeah, another another couple days, and this should be pretty much done here. And we'll set to work copying all of that. But this is. Okay, good, that is all finished. So this is gonna go back to library books and this can now go to fancy architectural blueprints. Fancify those, put those back in the library and we'll be good to go. And of course, uh, these guys are at work. We just can't quite feed them enough to keep them going to make the science. And that is uh, taken quite a long time, but we have to get to 2000 somehow. So we'll, we'll, we'll get it figured out. It's not gonna be that bad of, bad of a thing. All right, so got one more to do after this one's done, I think. Yep, there we go. And then once that's done, back to library books you go. And we have 27 unemployed beavers. So if we really wanted to, uh, we could build a whole bunch more of these. And I, th I think for the, the benefit of where we currently are, uh, the, just, just the annoying thing is that these copious lodges have the doorway on the second floor. That is uh, quite the irritation. So what we're going to have to do, I know this is going to maybe seem dumb. I mean, there's nobody in here anyway. So what I'm going to do now, take out these paths, take out these crappy platforms, and I'm just going to go ahead and put in, oh, that's under village jobs, isn't it? Yes, a uh, copy sludge. Oh, geez. All right, now I gotta move this whole thing around. But I can put in two like that. It's already the end of the workday anyway, but that will significantly speed up our process here. Uh, staircase this way like so, and then we'll just put ourselves a regular platform right here. And that's gonna work out really nice. Everything's all hunky-dory good to go. And I don't think this is enough, uh, I don't think it's enough uh, fermentation barrels for kimchi, so we're going to end up moving these as well. Because uh, we can also have a bunch more of these uh, artist lodges. Now, I, I do know that there's beavers that live here, and that's going to create additional beds to fill and blah, 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 whatever. But it's fine, we'll get it figured out. Not going to be that worried about it. Now, where are we storing our, where are we storing our cabbage? I actually do not remember. Okay, it's in the bottom of this, but we don't have any extra currently. So we probably want to have kind of the same area filled with uh, fermentation. I know we, we talked about doing some other stuff here. We've got the spatter dock, spatter dock. Uh, you know what? You know what? Why not? Why not just put another, uh, another spatter dock thing here? Because then I can just build some more fermentation on top of this. We can move this all out of here. Where was the spatter dock again? There we go. And then we have these uh, we have these other <laughs> other warehouses that are going to take up extra space here. So that uh, that works out just fine to have those like so. Guess what's going in this one? I bet you couldn't figure it out. It's spatter dock. So in this situation, there actually isn't a benefit to using the large warehouse over the medium one because. And in this mod, it's actually directly proportional to the amount of space the building takes up versus Vanilla Timberborn. The medium warehouse holds 200, but the large holds 1,200. No, it's no. So there's there's no reason to be, oh, you could have bought the large one. No, no, stop it. 
<laughs> Stop it. That's, that, that's not how this works. Anyway, small warehouse. Guess what's going in here? I bet you couldn't figure it out. Oh, oh, it's better, Doc. Oh, yeah, okay. Now, what I want to know is why... Is why this isn't counting... Oh, there's no... <laughs> Oh, because there, there's no, uh, there's no staircase up to the, okay. So I, I've got to, uh, I've got to connect this, uh, the correct way, which I had not done. There's your problem. Now it's connected. Okay. So let's put in a couple of fermentation barrels here, 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 here. And by a couple, I mean all of them. Yes, 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 yes. Look, look at the, look at the efficiency here. All right, so this is methane, this is methane, methane, methane. This can be kimchi. And then we can start moving those guys out of there. Okay, now they should be done in the artist lodge. Uh, did they already make all those fancy? It looks like they sure did. Yep, okay, cool. Library books, library books, uh, library books, and library books. How are we doing here? 95%. Nice. We're getting very, very close, friends. Except for the whole science bit, which we will uh, be fixing shortly, hopefully. Yeah, let's bring that back here. All right, so methane just has to be placed in here, which uh, will happen eventually. Mediocre chest chestnut flower. Oh, God, I forgot about that. Uh, that needs to go... How do I make chestnut flour? Is that one of these... Uh, I looked it up last night, but I forgot. Mm, Gristmill. There it is. Did I build one of these yet? Sawmill. Oh, no. Okay, I have it. Oh, it was making weird udon, which um, I don't think we actually need to be making. So I don't see... Yeah, they're not making any of this because they don't have chestnuts. All right, so chestnut flour it is. Now, the chestnuts, I know for a fact, are over here. And they are, in fact, being harvested. They're just uh, taking a little bit of time to grow. We might actually need more of these, but uh, that should be, hopefully, something we can work with. Uh, do I have space over here to make a chestnut storage? I'm actually not sure I do. Well, of course I have space. I have all these storages. I just, people like to call me out for this. But hey, I don't want stuff hopping across. I really don't. That's such a pain. Let's do a long, tiny warehouse. Right. Uh, okay, there's there's these things here. So I guess I'll just, I'll just build right here for right now. Chestnuts. There we go. And I do have an option to make a uh, grilled chestnut storage, but I know we can't actually grill chestnuts, so that problem solved. And these guys are going to be obtaining the chestnuts once they're actually harvested. We'll mark both of these as uh, prioritized by haulers. There we go. All right. Has our guy finished? Yes. Thank you, MP3. You've done a great service to us. Let's do mechanical blueprints fancification here. Yeah, now we have now we have 51 library books. I like where this is going. We're getting stuff done, folks. Finally. It's not just torture. But let's um have this guy go back to do uh oh, small aquifer pump blueprints. I like that because we need those. What are we making here? Pomade gears. Okay. All right, so you need 4 hours to make this fancy. Once that's fancy, then we'll have to send it over to the uh, copyist lodge. So we'll take this out of triple speed for a second here. Now that that's been defancified, or I guess properly fancified, now it goes over to get copied. Just come right down here, go up the stairs. Look, there he goes. Who's carrying it? Alrighty. Now you can make three of those. And then we'll send it back down, assuming there he is. Oh, you gotta get your gotta get your paper and your pencil sets. Alright, alright, alright. 
Do I have enough paper? Okay, no, I do. They're just using a lot of it to make the uh, comic books, library books, etc. Everything else. So while they're taking care of that, yeah, it's going to take them a little bit more time. Let's come over here. And okay, we got some more explosives to set off. But I can finally put this path in. So now we can uh, gather uh, berries and stuff from down here. Okay, so this is now ready to be planting some more cabbage. But you can't even harvest the cabbage you already have. I know. I know, it's fine. We'll get there. Everything will be A-OK, -okay, don't you worry. We're going to put some more farmhouses in, too. Now, the large farmhouse uh, can only plant pumpkins, but can help harvest everything else. So we're going to want to build one of those over here before too long, but we are going to want to put in uh, some more regular, old, boring farmhouses. So we've got quite a bit to accomplish before we get to that point. All right, we're about 75. Okay, they're not going to finish this today. But we'll get those converted back over. Uh, how are we looking here? Water supply is about a thousand. Should be a little higher, but we're not we're not in danger yet. These guys are just drama queens. Spatterdock is not being delivered here. Oh. I guess if I have to prioritize it by haulers, it's not gonna get done. Alright, whatever. Seems kind of like, hmm, why? But that's fine. Now our uh, explosives. We already have a bunch of tar. So let's just make nitroglycerin again. Oh, we can also make methane at the uh, alchemist, but I think it would be better to have it fermenting in the barrels. So then we can, you know, actually use it for the purposes of other fun stuff. All right, so that's all done. Now that can go back to library books. This can go back to fancifying a mechanical blueprints, and then we'll have a full set of three if we want to build a three ENSs. Now, let's see. We need more dandelions, which we actually seem to have enough. It's just uh, kind of a process to get them here. Well, they'll be fine. All right, so do we have methane yet? Almost, almost done. Yeah, yeah, now, now we've got a decent bit. Just about finished here with fancifying everything. There we go. Cool. Back to library books you go. So we're up to 73 books. And the methane was going to be used to make what? I already forgot. Um, let's take a look. Because now I don't remember. What in the world was I using methane for? What was I going to use it for? Is it something in the factory? Is that in the metal? Yes, that was to make the uh, the claw thing. Still don't really know what that is, but we'll uh, take a look. See here. Medium cauldrons. Okay, we don't need to make any more of those. Not for right now. Um, drill bits. Okay. I thought that was a claw, but I guess, I guess that's drill bits. Okay. Yeah, so we'll do that. And then, and now, now I have to actually remember why I needed the drill bit. That was for, no, that wasn't for the ENS. That was for, uh, was that needed to make the compact library book sets? Is that what that was about? Um, no. What in the world did I need that for? I don't know, there's too much to keep up with this, this thing. Oh, no, that was for the aqu aquifer, aquifer, whatever. I don't care. This thing. I only have four of those uh, screw shafts. Oh, of course this takes power. My God. All right. Um, that's going to be fun to figure out. But I guess I could put those, put those up here probably, depending on how big it is. Um, there we go. Let's go ahead and research this. All right. Um... Oh, of course. Wow. Power has to go in. You know, this is this is evil. This is this is just evil. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. I, I got to constantly figure out some sort of 
advanced science BS to get water out of the ground. All right. This... Hmm, I'm going to have to send it up somewhere. Ah, man. Well, can't make it yet. So these guys are both working on scaffoldings. Okay, what else? What else can they be doing? I already have large water wheel blueprints. I'm pretty sure I just can't uh, actually use them. Yes. Need to have some more, uh, some more tanks. But man, having this be tied to power is just killing me. How am I supposed to get? Uh, uh, I guess if I wanted to send them uh, a 400 HP, and people were suggesting I, I couldn't have built this. No, 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 no. I gotta remember where these things. There's like 2,000 different pumps in here. Yeah, this is gonna have to go. Uh, it's gonna have to go somewhere over here. So I, I guess the, uh, I guess the correct thing to do is just gonna be to have this set up right about here. So I'm not gonna be able to get it to go any other way. Because so I'm gonna want to be able to do like a whole stack of these things, right? So if I did that, oh, that's gonna be. That's going to be ugly. Oh well. Life goes on. Platforms. Platforms, platforms. And then that can be a power shaft thing. And this can go like this. And then this will just be a four way just because that'll be easier. And then that'll have an aquifer pump right there. And then we'll have a path. Oh no. Oh no, you can't do that. That's illegal. And eh, we'll be fine. We'll just move this over one. No, oh, now that we know this is a, uh, I do know this is a thing. Oh, I've got to make fancy blueprints. That's right. Boy, you could have fooled me. Okay, I got uh, none of these because why? Cause, oh, of course, this takes kimchi too. All right, well, we'll pause the library so I can make a blueprint for a water pump because apparently that needs kimchi. <sighs> This is all working, right? Is it just because I don't have enough cabbage? I feel like that can't possibly be why. Well, I don't need the uh, stuff here. I guess I could just plant some more cabbage. That's fine. I don't need to be able to get around the side of this. Come on. I think I can unplant most of the pumpkins here because the uh, pumpkins on the other side are doing quite well. So these are all going to be cabbages now that that's taken care of. I can't believe that I had not remembered that that was a thing that I needed to do. Well, that's fine. We're going to need a lot more cabbage. Anyway, I might leave some of these because we do have the uh, the large farmhouse here. But that will definitely be something we want to make sure that we're taking advantage of here. As soon as they pick up all of these pumpkins, that is. It's a very slow process, for sure. So we'll come back to that in a little bit. All right, how are we looking here? Okay, still don't have enough kimchi. Okay, is it bramble flowers we're running out of? That doesn't seem right. Wow, are we actually out of bramble flowers? Really? Huh, okay. Well, maybe, maybe that's something we need to be importing in our district crossing here. Where is, where are bramble flowers? Hey, let's just, let's always import those. That ought to help. All right, we got some more space to detonate here. Ooh, I probably should have this brought all the way down and not planted there. Let's do that. Yeah, because this could be this could just be a path going up here. Because then I could put a farmhouse set up here. Yeah, let's let's do that. 
Go farmhouse here, farmhouse here. Uh, assistant farmers. That'll be helpful. Now, how are we looking here? What about our kimchi? We have 36 out of 50. Okay, so we still don't have still don't have the bramble flowers. It's weird to me that the bramble flowers were the problem. That is actually pretty funny to think about after all of this all of this wood harvesting we've been doing from the uh, from the brambles here. So maybe we actually do want to leave the brambles alone and let them grow. That's a that's a funny thought cuz we could just harvest the flowers from them. We have so much other wood coming in from here and then also over here. So what what happens if I get rid of this wood felling plantification lodge? I get a little bit more space for the brambles to grow, but it's not irrigated. So I don't know that that's really uh that's really something to be that concerned about. I don't know, but I don't think we need to be don't think we need to be tearing it down. I'm going to just Mm, I'll just pause this for a second. Let this grow back. So now I'm I'm actually really curious to see just how long. I know it's three days to grow a flower. But having this self-contained thing right here probably isn't a bad idea. Because the other bramble patches, well, it's all over here. And they're not actually gathering. They're just cutting them down. Because this is the wood felling lodge. These guys down here, oh, is this a gather lodge? Harvest Harvester's office, I'm sorry. I will prioritize that by haulers, so that's good to go. Because we got plenty of haulers over here. That is not the, uh, that's not the issue here. So we'll just make sure this gets uh, done a little bit more. Plenty of cabbages to grow here. All right, I still am not going to have... Okay, we're getting closer on the kimchi, though. That is so funny. It's so funny that it was the, that it was the flowers the whole time, and I thought it was the cabbages. But we, we do need more cabbage, so this was not the, uh, not the wrong move to make, at least. We're getting somewhere. And we are going to need to plant some spatter dock now that we can actually use it. So we have how much rice stored up? Uh, really not that much, if even any, so I guess I shouldn't be too upset about that. Oh, they can, they can gather all this stuff still. Um, I'm going to go ahead and plant some spatter dock. How much more can I get away with? Right here? Yeah. I don't think we're going to need a ton, but I will, uh, I will start turning this into a little bit more of a spatter dock area. We have plenty of rice. It just has to get harvested. These guys are, well, they're prioritizing what they want to prioritize. There's nothing really wrong with that, necessarily. All right, come on. Give me this kimchi. Because I got to turn the uh, library back on so we can actually build this thing. I just have to have the aquifer uh, blueprint here. And that's all it's missing is the uh, fancy blueprint. All right. Right, come on now. Are you serious? This takes 300 hours. Are, you got to be joking. My God, man. Um, Paper. I don't have any more paper. Okay, well, I only have 76 books. Uh, paper mill. How are we? Uh, how are we looking here? Sawdust. Is it because I don't have enough sawdust? All right. We're going to have to play hardball, huh? Screw press axles. I guess I will unpause. And then this, I guess, can just make straight sawdust. Might as well. What is this burning? Oh, that's a smelter. That's right. It's not a wood burner. I got rid of that. We are getting iron. We're getting coal. Okay. Water's still looking pretty decent. Man, I did not realize this was going to be a 300-hour ordeal. Yikes. I would not have built that had I uh, had I realized that. Well, at least this has kimchi now, so we'll turn this back on. Alright, dandelions. Are there dandelions over here? Did I get rid of all of them? I don't think... Yeah, you know, I don't think they were going to survive. It's too bad. Because I can't plant those until I have the whatever thing that I don't have until I have the ENS finished, which I don't have until I have all this stuff done. So compounding issues 
over and over and over and over and over and over and over. It's the way she goes. Well, we'll be all right. Got plenty to be doing here. Plenty of jobs that are, uh, well, plenty of beavers wanting jobs, I guess I should say. I don't really have too much else going on right now. I guess we could, guess we could just put in some things that put beavers to work, like more of these uh, log gnawing stations, but I need to have a good place for one. I guess it's not the worst thing ever to put one right here. Because I don't think any of them were coming down this way anyway. Just have this make straight sawdust. Might as well. He got the beavers to do it. Might as well. Okay, now this guy was making fried rice. This guy was making dandelion tea. But we don't have dandelions. So I'm actually going to have them make... No, that takes the dandelion spicy soda. No, that takes bramble flowers. My god. Um, braised cabbage? Okay. Yeah, we can do that. I need to be saving the dandelions for our uh, science research purposes. How are we looking here? 10 percent My god. <laughs> At this point, I don't even know if this is going to be finished this episode or not. I cannot believe it takes 300 hours to make that. Jeez. Okay, library books, we're still kind of hurting on that. Unfortunately, there's not really uh, not really anything else we can do. That's some more cabbage. All right. Yeah, so I need this guy to... Oh, okay, he's prioritizing the rice paddy. Wait, he can't plant spatter... Wait, who can plant the spatter dock? Does that have to be a separate building now? Large farmhouse can only plant pumpkins. Okay, so why... Wait, hold on. This farmhouse... Why can this farmhouse not select Spatterdock? Why can none of these select Spatterdock when that's specifically... Specifically enumerated in the description of the building. That they can plant Spatterdock and green peas. But the only options... Oh, this is what it gathers. Who the hell plants it? Oh, uh, the large farmhouse. Really? But it says it can only plant pumpkins. So if I... Uh... Okay, so okay, so what's happened... What's happened is these uh, descriptions for buildings are not updated. That's That's what the problem is. So, uh, Lapon, if you're watching this, uh, please fix that. <laughs> cause it causes a little bit of confusion, but I don't know. You might have already fixed it in the uh, 3.0 or whatever the current version is. But uh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Well, we'll plant some more uh, green peas over here just because this is a space that wasn't uh, being used. But we do have some up here that we are in the process of actually harvesting. Pumpkins, yeah, see, this is, uh, this is what we should have been doing the whole time, is just using this as our pumpkin storage, cause I'm, or storage planting, because that's what we were doing with those. 17%. Well, I have drill bits. So I guess this can go back to, what was I making? I guess I can just make metal blocks. That's probably fine. This thing is making scrap metal very slow. Okay, drought in three days. Drought in three days. How much water do we have stored up? 1,700. Okay. Well, we don't have the storage full. That's set to supply. Okay, that makes sense. But this shouldn't be set to supply. Well, this should probably actually be set to receive. So uh, I don't think it matters. It'll be all right. Okay, I've got some more space for cabbages here. One little bit at a time. There we go. Got some more spatterdock to plant. There we go. Making progress.
These guys do have to go. Oh, they're finished. All right. Well, guess what? You don't need to be over here then. So this can actually be emptied. And eventually we're going to put a mine here. But if uh, this is emptied, then these guys don't have to come over here anymore. And that's going to save us a lot of time. We'll just get this out of here. And we won't have to worry about it. Now, did we finish uh, blasting this all the way down? We sure did. Okay. That works. Yeah, they'll take uh, they'll take their sweet time to get that done. All right. Cabbages, cabbages, cabbages. Everybody wants cabbages. And the pumpkins are being replanted. Everything's looking good. All right, very nice. And this is only at 23%. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes, this is uh, not... Not the speediest thing ever, for sure. For sure. This this farmhouse could use a uh, assistant farmers. So let's... Um, is this going to let me put this up here? Come on. I know there's a specific... Okay, there we go. Yeah, definitely, definitely could use that. And honestly, I feel like I could have another uh, another set of farmhouses down here, but I uh, didn't want to take up any more space for them. All right, this 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 needs to be spatterdock. Very very slowly, starting to plant some more of that stuff. Okay, what was what was this mushroom stew? Yes, okay. Well, I'm glad that exists, even if we can't really use too much of it. 26%, 26%, 300 hours, 18 hours a day. Math is hard, but uh, suffice to say, it's going to be a while before that's finished. Meanwhile, how are things looking over here? Everybody's complaining about being hungry and thirsty. Oh, we actually don't have a lot of food. Okay, uh, it's because we are exporting... What are, what are we exporting food-wise? I don't even know. Uh, the rice should not be an issue. Uh, is this making... Yes. Uh, they don't have rice because they're not harvesting rice because we don't have enough... Don't have enough beavers working to harvest. So this needs to be a harvest priority on rice. This could be planting and that can be harvest priority on cabbage. That's fine. Actually, this should be this should be planting priority. And this guy should be a harvest priority on cabbage, probably. Maybe not. No, we'll just... No. There we go. I don't know why they weren't harvesting the rice. That seems like a pretty easy, uh, pretty easy thing to fix. So we will do that. These guys... Oh, they can't even get down here because the, uh, the path isn't put in. Duh. We have to wait for this cabbage to get harvested, but that's fine. This is going to have to be lots more cabbage. It's probably not all going to be irrigated either, but we'll uh, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens here. All right, now what are we what are we carrying? Oh, that's dynamite. Okay, already knew that was a thing. So if we want to irrigate, I think we're probably going to have to wait until this is all blasted out to just see exactly what needs to be irrigated. But it's probably going to need to be something... Click, thank you. Crappy irrigation tower. It's probably going to need to be one of those things that uh, actually has a pretty decent amount of irrigation. And it's going to have to be in a, kind of an inconvenient place, I think. So this one right here... Uh, actually, is going to be tall enough. Is that going to take up space we don't want it to take up? So if I put this up here, is that going to be above? Oh, no, that could work. We just have to have a staircase to get up to it. And that would actually probably not be a bad idea to put that there. Because when this dries out, that's going to get pretty, pretty unwatered. Okay, no, but this is already 
This is already still wet here, so maybe we don't want to worry about it. Maybe this can just stay as a storage or something over here. So I feel like irrigation would be much better used in a place that is actually going to be uh, plantable. Well, we got 0.3 days left. So I think we're uh, I think we're still in okay shape. It's, my God, it's only at 36%. Oh, this is killing me. This is absolutely killing me. I can't even really make any more. Uh... Oh, I don't have any more storage for library. That was stupid. Um, sunflower seed storage. No, you are now storage for library books. Where else was I storing library books? Did I even have a storage for library books? I don't think I did. All right, well, consider me an idiot then. Where's my, where was the rest of my library book storage anyway? The world may never know. All right, well now that's all back to cabbages. That's fine. Spatterdock back here. And now we are relying on the gravity batteries to handle all of our all of our needs here. Metal blocks, metal blocks, metal blocks. Do we actually need metal blocks? We do not. So guess what? We are making nothing. But it's still drawing power. That's very annoying. Um no, that's not gonna care. Actually it went down. Huh. How do how do I get this to not uh, to not draw power? Yeah, because that's acting like it's a whole lot. Hmm. Well, maybe it's not actually drawing it. I don't know. Could just be uh, me huffing industrial quantities of copium over here. Chestnut flour. Oh, we don't have storage. Jeez, we don't have storage for chestnut flour either. All right. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. Is we will. Yeah, I'm going to have to get rid of this bush because I'm going to put a storage here for chestnut flour. All right, so get this out. It's only a six-day drought at least, so that's uh, encouraging. Medium warehouse for chestnut flour. Which one is that? We wasted so much time with this. All right, that'll be, uh, that'll be better than nothing, I guess. Oh, don't forget we have our crappy windmill that can be uh, used, I suppose. Now I could, I could put another one up here and hook it in <clears throat> to this other guy. But it doesn't fit up there, of course. Now, is this going to let me, uh, <clears throat> is this going to let me place this on the stairs? No, it will not. <clears throat> Tall platform, don't want to do that. So if I did that instead, no, that's not going to work. All right, I, I, I don't have a good way to get this in. Unfortunately, I don't, this, all right, I, I got to do it. This, this is asinine. This way of connecting power is absolutely asinine. I mean, I get it. It's supposed to be hard, but this is prohibitively difficult. So that, that's why I have not messed that much with that. It's, it's like legitimately not fun. Well, the rest of this is fine. Now get these, uh, get these cabbages out of here, man. I got, got stuff to do. Are we still starving here? Kind of, it seems. I don't have enough, uh, I don't have enough beavers working for food, I suppose. Now we should have... I guess most of this is probably still kimchi. Yes. Just need some more beavers working. Yeah, I don't suspect that this is going to be uh, any amount of irrigated at any point in time. <clears throat> Let's check and see. Nope, we're not going to have this. That is so disappointing. Oh, well. At least we still have some power. Not that I can really use it. Chestnut flour, chestnut flour. At least we're making chestnut flour. 
Now, what was I even going to use that for? See, I just, I don't, there's so much stuff to keep track of. I cannot remember what half of this is. What was the chestnut flower for? Um. See, I don't even, I don't even know what that thing looks like. I don't see it there. I don't see it in the mechanized kitchen house. Either was that for the beer? Yes, that was for the mediocre chestnut beer. All right, well, that's fine, I suppose. Yeah, 53%. Yeah, no way. That's going to be middle of next episode before that's even close to done. So the thing that the thing that bothers me about this is they're not planting. Okay. All right, we got to talk, dude. We got to talk. This says cannot plant crops. So why insert your favorite expletive here? Does this have a planting option on it? That's no, stop that. Either make them plant crops or take that away. That's ex the, I guess that's what was wrong is they nobody was planting crops. Okay. Look, I, I, I understand that it's supposed to be supposed to be difficult, but you can't have contradictory UI in different spots telling you that this does this and then or does not do this, but then the UI still lets you select that. You, you got to find a way to stop that. So now I guess that will hopefully clear up a little bit of this chaos here. Yeah, now, now we can actually plant stuff. Maybe that's why everybody was dying, because nobody could harvest anything. All right, well, we'll uh, we'll leave that alone for now, I suppose. What else? What else am I to do here? Well, we're just about out of time for the episode anyway, so I guess that'll end uh, when the drought is over. I just wish this did not take 300 hours make the blueprint for it man that is just so much and i got all these it's like lit up like a christmas tree if you have like a really crappy old car all your warning lights are on like okay who has nothing to do in range this guy because they can't plant crops all right well now now you can harvest crops and there's also no workers here but these guys oh there's nobody working here anyway all right so that doesn't matter Injured beavers can't do anything about them until we have nursing, which we can't do until we have the ENS, which we can't do until we have the science, which we can't do until we have enough dandelions, which we can't do because we can't plant anything because we don't have the ENS. So, yeah, uh, we're just we're just waiting. We're at we're at the mercy of the uh, the dandelion harvesters. <laughs> oh boy! All right. Well, at least we don't have a bunch of dirty beavers. We just have one. Okay, construction lacks materials. I already had an idea that's what that was about. I guess I can extend that path out. They're not going to be able to get to all of this. But we'll see what happens. I guess they're in the process of planting. Nobody has gotten this yet, so if I have them harvest priority cabbage just so we can get them to eat something, because there's no food in this district at all. Hopefully that will help. Dying of old age, died of old age. As long as they're not dying of thirst or hunger. Nope, never mind. Somebody died of hunger. All right. The beaver OSHA is going to be on me about this. Well, at the very least, the ENS blueprints are done. And we just can't build it because we can't research it, because we don't have the science, because we can't make the science. So... You know how this goes. Dandelions are the eternal scourge of our uh, everything here. So I guess I will make this into an obtain dandelions. This is a supply dandelions. Maybe that will help expedite because we're not out of dandelions. We just can't harvest them that quickly. And they can't grow that quickly. So these guys are uh, hopefully going to spread, but they uh, don't really seem to have much of a chance. So we can get them to at least move it closer and prioritize the library by the haulers. Maybe that'll help them make the science a little bit faster. 
Because everything else we're good. We just need the dandelions. That seems to be our uh, our Achilles hill here. Well, at any rate. Oh, hold on, what's flooded? Wait, what? Oh, that's this building. I, I thought it was the mine that was flooded. How did that happen? No, we're good. We're just... Uh, just a little hungry here. Just a little bit. Now, spicy soda needs bramble flowers. Well, they can't eat those anyway, so that's fine. Okay, so this... Instead of making braised cabbage, this just needs to make... Uh, do I even have rice? No, I don't have rice. So we need somebody to... Man, what a mess, huh? <clears throat> I just need somebody to harvest. Somebody to harvest. All that. And I need them to get this stick and cabbage here. But they can't uh, can't harvest everything. So what, what are these two doing if they're not actually harvesting anything? Oh, no, he is harvesting something. Okay. I don't know, clearly my uh, my knowledge of this is lacking in a way that is, shall we say, not helping. But I'm just, it's so fascinating how completely out of balance stuff can get in like seemingly no time at all. It's like you're trying to tightrope walk across a razor, but it's 10,000 feet long and you're two miles up in the air. Still forever waiting on the blueprints that we're not going to get until next time, but that's fine. Whatever. 75% of the way there. Woohoo. Oh, got a day and a half left. So that is where we will end today. But thankfully, this main district has plenty of food, plenty of water. Everything else seems to be functioning more or less pretty well. We almost, almost have our 200 library books. We have plenty of paper. They're just taking their sweet time to uh, to make these things. Pencil sets. Uh, are we out of pencil sets? I don't even know where to look for those things. I feel like we. Uh, I feel like we're out of pencil sets. Yeah, so I'll I'll just make some more of those because I see the I see tools. We have tons of that. I did not <clears throat> did not see any pencil sets. So. Ken here will be uh, constructing those for us. And we still only have 873 science. I'm telling you, it's these dandelions, man. Can't make any more of them, so you just have to wait. All right, is, okay, no, things have only gotten worse here. Yep, not really anything we can do about that. Just uh, got to get these guys to harvest some stuff, which they do not seem like they want to do. Nobody's working here, of course, because there's jobs they can't do. Um, that's already deprioritized. It's already deprioritized. It's already nobody working here. So where where are they working all these jobs? Tooth cut planks. Okay, this probably does not need to be the uh, highest priority job. Let's get these guys in this farmhouse. Okay, this... The upgrades need to be... Uh, deprioritized. I probably should have done that a long time ago. But I didn't. Let's get these guys. They're still not going to work in the farmhouse, really? Okay, this two-story watertight lodge probably doesn't need to be a thing. Because we have this whole tower here. But the wood felling planification lodge is pretty important. Where are they working? Like, where are these guys? Yeah, that... they They don't need to be... Don't need to be working here. Get these out of here. There we go. Now, now we have beavers working in the food industry. All right, now can they still reach this? Yes. Because I imagine a pretty decent bit of this is going to be uh, irrigable. Is that even a word? Arable is probably the uh, correct word we're looking for, <clears throat> but we got to get them, uh, got to get them in here harvesting stuff. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to, uh, 
I'm just going to force everybody to get the cabbage. Because we gotta, we got to get this out of here so I can put this stairs in. I don't dare delete food in this district where everybody's starving to death. Well, it's almost over. The, <laughs> the drought's just about done. We do, we do love ourselves a good crisis here, don't we? Or if we don't, we sure have been seeing a whole lot of it. Uh, that is uh, just the way things go here, I suppose. So sun's going to come up here at the first day of cycle 26. And we're going to be moving on. So do appreciate you guys watching all these. Hopefully uh, you do enjoy this. Do let me know. <clears throat> I know we're having a, a lot of fun figuring out all the intricacies and everything of this mod. But uh, I am actually having fun, even if it doesn't sound like it. Because it's difficult to uh, get all the game mechanics down and everything but uh i do eagerly await your feedback uh, any questions comments concerns things that you think might improve this playthrough because it is quite a lot to go through so uh do look forward to interacting with you down in the comments i do read all of them can't always respond can't always get to everything that you guys bring up but i do greatly value your input so please do feel free to engage there and of course want to take a moment to thank our beard boosters for all of their fantastic support making it possible for me to do these videos and very, very thankful for those folks. So up next, uh, we're looking still for Timber API to get repaired so we can start our Update 5 Folktales playthrough with some quality of life mods for uh, for those guys. But uh, I don't know exactly when that's going to be done, but uh, tomorrow, Thursday, you can expect another episode of Update 5 Iron Teeth, and then uh, we'll see what we're able to get to uh, whenever I can start that folktale series, but it is coming. I just have to wait until I can, you know, do the stuff I set out to do originally. And that does take some time sometimes. And I also, as promised, do have that how to mod a video or how to run mods, not how to make mods. But that's been in the pipeline for several days now, except I can't finish it because the mods don't work that I need to use to illustrate the uh, stuff. So that is coming. Uh, I had somebody ask if I would do one for update four and uh, no, because that is no longer the uh, current version of the game. I know it's update five is in uh, experimental or whatever, but that is going to be the future of the game. And that's what I want people to be able to reference. So no, we're not, not going to do a, how to do mods and update four video. Unfortunately, it's uh, past time for that to be an option for us, but uh, we will be looking forward to having access to all that fun stuff in update five and all the fun that comes with it. So we are well and truly out of time for today's video. So I'll go ahead and just, leave you be whatever you got to do the rest of the day stay safe have fun and we'll look forward to seeing you again in the next one bye bye